Hey there Pisces and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of May and we're going to take a look at past, present and near future energies. Also Pisces, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Oh, didn't flip over. Okay. All right. You got a soul connection showing. Oh, damn. We got love here. Oh, and the fear. The fear, Pisces. It's always the fear. What are you afraid of in the recent past? Um, I'm going to say you because this is your reading, Pisces. But these energies may be your person's energies as well. So take it as they resonate. All right, main energy for your reading this month is the Ace of Wands. New beginning. Total, total new beginning between you and somebody else here, or at least the desire to have that. Um, but I do feel like it's actually coming into fruition, at least in the near future. In the recent past, you get the Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, Three of Swords. There's a soul connection here. There's a divine connection between you and somebody else. You offer this person their love, or you offer this person your love. They offer you their love. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And then, bam. Either there was heartbreak or you were afraid of experiencing heartbreak. I'll see more once I clarify. Um, the reason I'm saying bam is because I do feel like something happened in the recent past which caused you a lot of emotional pain because you're showing me in the current situation the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You're waiting for this new beginning between the two of you. You're literally showing me like not only will this be a new beginning, it'll be successful. We will successfully overcome the difficulties, the challenges, all of that. And so that's letting me know, but because you get the three of wands, that's letting me know that this new beginning, you know it's going to happen, you know it's coming, you just don't know exactly when. Um, and you know it's going to be successful, you know it's going to work out. It's almost like, you know, you order something online, but you don't have tracking numbers. You know it's going to show up at some point, you just don't know exactly when. In the near future, you get the two of cups, king of cups, and the temperance. Love, 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 love. And this is you, I don't assign gender to my cards you are a water sign, there's love here, and there's deep love here. And it's a long time coming. It's been a long time coming for you. So overall, I would say this month, if you're looking for love, this looks like a really, really, really good reading. But let's clarify. Let's start off by clarifying the Ace of Wands, which is the main energy for your reading. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Here's the thing. You may have self-sabotaged here. There is a new beginning. Beautiful, passionate, lots and lots of love. And this new beginning makes you happy. The possibility, the idea of like, okay, we could start over. We could have a fresh new start. Makes you super, super happy. The problem is you overanalyze and then you sabotage. You self-sabotage. And that is essentially interfering. Like if we took this card away, beautiful energies, beautiful new beginning. It's passionate. It's successful. It's amazing. You have a tendency to self-sabotage. And I don't know why. I mean, we might, it might show up in the rest of the reading. But you're standing in your own way. You're standing in the way of this new beginning. Now, again, this could be you. This could be your person. Take the energies as they resonate. Let's take a look at the recent past. We'll start off by clarifying the Six of Cups in the recent past. Six of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess, Three of Cups, and the Emperor. You want a reconciliation here. You truly, truly do. Um, in the current situation. In the recent past, though, what you're showing me is essentially you really enjoy this person's energy. When you hang out, when you spend time together, it's fun, it's amazing, it's energetic, and you feel a deeper connection there, right? You really do. Like, deep down, you're like, yep, yeah, this, is, this is a soul connection. This feels amazing. We have such a great time. That's deep, deep down, though. You're not allowing yourself on the surface to feel it because you're showing me I need to be in control here, right? I, I, can't, I can't be vulnerable. I can't be open. I can't express how I truly feel for this person, right? I appear cool, calm, collected, take it or leave it type of energy. When that's not the case, you don't feel that, right? Like that's the, the, the dominant, you know, energy that you're presenting. But deep down, you truly enjoy this person's energy, you're just not really allowing yourself to feel it. You're also not really expressing it to the other person. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the recent past. The 
Knight of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. There's love here. You have love for this person. You get the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You have love for this person. You know that they love you too. You're offering them love. You're receiving love from them. But for some reason, this confuses you. This overwhelms you. It's like, oh, here's my love. You're giving me your love. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is too much. Why is it too much? Why is this emotion, this beautiful emotion of love, why is that overwhelming? Why is that confusing? Why is that like too much for you or for your person? And so what, whoever this is, right? I'm going to say you because that's your reading. It could be them though. Um, whoever is kind of like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. This is too much. They're just literally stalling for time here. It's like they take a break. They take a breather because they're overwhelmed by beautiful emotions like love. Love is powerful. And it feels great, but for this person, it feels great, but it's also very scary. It's overwhelming. Let's take a look at the Three of Swords in the recent past. Nope. Three of Swords is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups. This is beautiful. And the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, literally, I can't make this up. Who is self-sabotaging here? Is it you? Is it your person? This is beautiful energy. There is love. There's equal give and take. There's a flow of energies, right? But somebody, it's like, okay, the reason this person is acting this way is because they have a fear of getting hurt, right? So either you hurt them, or either, you know, you got hurt in the past and that's why you're self-sabotaging, or um, this person specifically, I don't know if this is a new connection or somebody you got history with, this person specifically hurt you in the past and that's why you're kind of like self-sabotaging. What I see here, beautiful energies, equal give and take, love, the love is flowing, it's overflowing, like it's amazing. But then somebody here is like, oh, wait a minute, I could get hurt, I could get really hurt. And then what this person's doing is like backpedaling. One day they're in, one day they're out. One day they feel the love, one day they're like, oh, this is overwhelming, I need a minute. In and out, back and forth. But I mean, this is literally just you bringing pain into a beautiful beautiful situation this pain does not belong here let's take a look at the current situation um i'll start off by clarifying the six of wands in the current situation for you six of wands is clarified by the seven of wands the strength and the knight of pentacles you're moving slowly you're moving slowly because you're so guarded you do want to have a successful new beginning with this person you do want to start over and you do want it to be like successful emphasis on the successful it's not just like oh you know let's hang out let's see where this goes you're like no i want to actually like a hundred percent have this new beginning right but because you're so guarded because you're so defensive it's difficult for you it's difficult for you to be open to feel these emotions to just you know go with the flow and so you're really moving very slowly you're dragging your feet here um towards this new beginning not because you don't want it you do it's because you're scared you're scared of experiencing pain you're very guarded you're very defensive and so you're kind of moving way more slowly than you need to be moving let's take a look at the ace of pentacles in the current situation ace of pentacles is clarified by the queen of wands ten of wands and the world yeah you essentially are showing me i want to have a new cycle here you're very very attracted to this person you're very mesmerized by this person like you truly want them in your life like you're looking at this person you're like yep that's the person for me that's the one like i really do love them i'm attracted to them there's that magnetic pull there's that emotional pull but it's difficult for you it's difficult for you to have this brand new cycle to have this brand new beginning both energetically and here in the 3d world because you're so defensive you are so defensive and you are so guarded you're so afraid of getting hurt that it's literally like you're walking around with a hundred pound backpack on your back right and you're like i can do it i can do it yeah you can but you're making it way more difficult for yourself by carrying this extremely heavy backpack emotional backpack with you let's take a look at the three of wands in the current situation Three of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Page of Swords. You're waiting. You're waiting for the right time to start working on things, to start investing the energy in fixing things. Because you're showing me, look, I know I have all the tools that I need to make this work. I know that I can like come in, 
fix this and truly build moving forward with this person. And again, you look at this person like that's my person. That's the person for me. Like I don't want anybody else. I don't I'm not even thinking of anybody else. That is the one. Right? And the problem is though, you're showing me like, oh, it's not the right time right now. And I'm like, okay, well, why is it not the right time? Oh, oh, because of my doubts, because of my thoughts, because of my insecurities, because of the what ifs. What if I'm gonna get hurt? What if I need to think about this more? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And so instead of you just being like, okay, now's the time, let me take action, because you're feeling it, right? And you have all the tools you need to build this house, metaphorical house. Um, but you're like, no, 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 I need to think about this some more. So you're like, I know, I know at some point in the future, it's going to be the right time. It's not the right time right now. Okay. Let's take a look at the two of cups in the near future for you. Two of cups is clarified by the eight of cups, queen of pentacles, queen of cups. Yeah. You don't want to let yourself get too emotionally invested in the idea of I can have this person back. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign. So Leo, Sag, Aries, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, you're showing me like I don't want to get too emotionally invested in the idea that I love this person. They love me back. We're going to get this. We're going to have this new beginning. It's going to work because if it doesn't work, it's going to hurt all that more, right? You're trying to tell yourself like logically practically i'm not that emotionally invested in this like do i want it yes is it going to be the end of the world if i don't get it eh, not really and you're right it's not going to be the end of the world but you're telling yourself i want it this much when in reality you want it this much but for some reason you don't want to admit that to yourself because you know obviously if you get rejected or if it doesn't work out it's just going to suck all the more let's take a look at the king of cups in the current or sorry in the near future King of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, which is the main energy for your reading this month, and the Devil. You love this person, and you want a new beginning with this person, but you are so fucking stubborn. You are so stubborn. I don't know if I should have cussed. Oh my gosh. Um, this Essentially, what you're telling me is like, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this so badly I can taste it. Like You're obsessively craving this love, craving this new beginning, but you're not budging. You're not moving because you have to put on this front, right? I'm in control. This doesn't bother me. This doesn't phase me. I'm unbothered by this. And it's fine. I'm not telling you you have to like, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve. But like, why are you trying to lie to yourself here? You know, you're clearly more than bothered. Like you want this. Let's take a look at the temperance in the near future. Temperance is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Judgment. You're still holding back a lot. You're, you're making moves, right? <clears throat> so I see you like finally admitting to yourself, like, okay, maybe I don't want it this much. I want it a little bit more, this much. You actually want it this much, but you're like, okay, I want it this much. You're still holding back, but you've made the conscious decision here. You're like, look, I've made the decision that I can't keep holding back. Am I going to wear my heart on my sleeve and completely open myself up to this? No, you're definitely not an open book by any means. But there's there's some movement in terms of the emotional. There's some movement in terms of like, okay, I'm not going to hold back 100%. I'll just hold back 90%. Which I mean, honestly, based on the energies in this reading is a huge, huge improvement. Let's take a look and see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month. From the universe, you get the Seven of Cups, the Tower, the Page of Swords. Yeah, you're standing in your own way. You're getting overwhelmed by all these emotions because you're so afraid it's not going to work out. And not only it's not going to work out like, oh, I might get a little hurt, right? Your fears, your insecurities are making something this big into something this big. You're looking at this as like, oh, if this doesn't work out and I don't get this new beginning, like my entire world is going to shatter. And it's not that you're not going to get this new beginning. It's that you're not even allowing yourself to feel the emotions. Because remember, they're too overwhelming. They're too scary. They're too frightening. You're not even letting yourself feel the emotions. You're literally like, before the car has even left the station, I don't even know, the, the, the parking lot, whatever, your fears are kind of keeping it locked in. And you're like, oh my God, it's such a big scary world out there. I could get hit. The car could crash. The engine could die. Blah, 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 right? All these fears. Chill. Just chill a little bit with the mind is what I'm saying. 
So Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonated and gave you clarity. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, don't forget, I love me some coffee. Donation link is below. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you here on the next one, Pisces.